I'm undergoing a lot of stressors in my life, so I decided to cut all of my hair off because it makes everything else easier. We have a look at AMD's next-gen CPUs, APUs, and their upcoming GPUs, and 3DFX is back. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your host, Brett. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. So just sit back, relax, eat a bowl of Wheaties, and let's jump on into the tech news. Starting off with AM5 Socket. This is a new leaked render that's coming out about what the next generation CPU from AMD is going to look like for the Zen 4 Raphael CPUs. And why don't you know it? It looks almost like an Intel CPU, but backwards. Yes, my friends, instead of the flippy thing, going up, it goes down. That makes it so much easier for you to remember the difference between the two companies. Intel up, AMD down. That's just how physics works. I'm speaking from a strictly scientific perspective. So we're expecting that this gets launched with Zen 4 Raphael, which is expected to come out sometime in 2022. And AMD confirmed that in their recent Q2 earnings report. It's going to be on the LGA socket as opposed to PGA, which is how AMD currently does it. They have those little pokey sticks at the bottom of the CPU and you jam that into the motherboard. And if you jam it too hard, the sticks on the CPU break. Whereas with Intel, if you jam it too hard on the motherboard, the sticks on the motherboard break. So you have to replace a motherboard instead of a CPU. And depending on who and which side of the fence you sit on and how much you spent on each component, you might be bummed that it's one or the other. But regardless, AMD does look to be moving forward with that for their AM5 socket. There it is. If you want to run next gen AMD, you're going to need a whole brand new motherboard. And if you need some meat at your house, let's talk about today's episode sponsor, ButcherBox, because it's the simplest way to get meat because it's delivered straight to your door, 100% grass-fed organic beef, free-range organic chicken, pork raised crate-free, wild-caught seafood, super affordable at under $6 a meal, shipping is free, and it's perfectly portioned to whatever your needs are. You can choose from their pre-packaged boxes, or you can make your own depending on what your family's needs are at home. We've been using this for almost a year now, and ButcherBox has saved us so many trips to the grocery store. It saved us so much money, especially with the move to PA. We've noticed that prices of meat. It's just way higher than it was in Florida. And we didn't even need to worry about that because we're not buying meat at the grocery store anymore anyways. By clicking our link, you'll get two five ounce lobster tails and two 10 ounce ribeyes for free in your first box when you sign up for ButcherBox using our link in the video description. Big thanks to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's episode of Hot News. And I hope you guys try them out. Let's continue on with the AMD news talking about their next gen APUs, which is not their RDNA 2 APU. It's not like the semi custom SOC that's going into the Steam Deck, but rather there are new Linux drivers showing up for AMD Cyan Skillfish, which appears to be based on RDNA 1, Navi 1 GPU with Zen CPUs in there. So it's actually kind of the mixture of where we are now with APUs with the 56 and 5700G and what's coming next year, at least from indications that we have with the RDNA 2 based APUs, whether or not this is going to come out to retail or if this is just going to be in OEMs and system integrators or potentially even office PCs. I'm not sure, but I will say it now as I say it every single time I hear any little bit of APU news from AMD. Give us the APUs at retail all the time. Never, no exceptions. Sell it to us directly. I want them. Dirkly. Friends, do you see what this is? Huh? Can you see it? I don't think you can because it's not in focus. This is a Ryzen 3 5300G. Do you know what depths of depravity I had to go to to get one of these bad boys off of eBay? Okay. AMD, if you would have just sold that to me directly, we could have had money exchange hands. Instead, I had to pay some nobody in Florida for it, and it wasn't me. In case you want to know more about Intel's next generation motherboards, though, we've got Z690 stuff popping up. Pictures of the 20 power phases that you're going to need in order to run Z690. This is on top of the rumors that are coming out that Z690 and the next gen older like lineup that's coming out this year will only be their overclockable SKUs. So K and KF will be the only ones that are coming out out this year. So those beefy power faces on the Z690 make a whole lot of sense with the LGA 1700 socket and how much power we're expecting them to consume and sip on. It's going to be absolutely delicious for them. And what's not delicious for me is the news that's coming out of Bloomberg that Horizon Forbidden West is reportedly delayed until 2022. Guerrilla Games hasn't officially confirmed this, neither has Sony, but several outlets are now confirming this is what they're hearing behind the scenes. And I can't exactly say I'm surprised. Like, they only showed off one trailer, which it looked great. I, I could have believed that they were coming out this year, but considering we're in August, 
holy crap, we're in August, uh, and they don't have a release date for us. I wasn't exactly trusting that it was coming out this year, just like when they were like, God of War, Ragnarok, coming out 2021. You just showed us a symbol. You don't even have a trailer. No way it's coming out next year. Exactly, That's we're on the same page. And are you on the same page with the cryptocurrencies? Let's get into the crypto stonks update. Bitcoin down 4.5% as of the time of recording in the last 24 hours, being at under $40,000 right now. This is as opposed to the peak that it had earlier in the last 24 hours to be at nearly $42,500. So going up and down all over the place. Ethereum having a good day, kind of losing most of its gains though, only up 0.2%, peaking at over $2,600 at one point, but being at $2,445 as of the time of filming. Dogecoin down 2.63% to be at $20.3. US cents. Game stocks. Let's go with that. Down 2.27%, 161.12 to close on Friday, and AMC closing down 2.91% to 37.02. I'm just wondering when will meme stocks become a relic of a bygone era? But it does appear that a relic of a bygone era is saying hi gone instead of bygone. Why can't we let Qui-Gons be Qui-Gons? I'm gonna stop before I hurt more people. 3DFX tweeting last week, saying that they have an announcement upcoming this Thursday, the official Twitter handle for 3DFX, saying that they're coming back 20 years later, prepare for a major announcement regarding their return. I would take this with a massive dose of sodium chloride on those little tongue capsules that you have known as taste buds, simply because this is not the first time that a long beloved developer publisher company has revived themselves on Twitter, revived on Twitter and being like, oh, we're back. But then really the actual company is like, that, that's not us, what's going on? 3D effects, in case you're not aware, was purchased by NVIDIA, or at least it looks like all of their IP and copyright was purchased by NVIDIA and the actual company went bankrupt so somebody could still have the brand or somebody could be reviving the brand that has nothing to do with the original company. So it could be a mixture of that this is just simply Twitter trolling. It could be a thing where like this is legitimately some of the original people bringing the company back or this could just be like a, a circuit city type vibe where if you go to circuits it's just some like online reseller who bought stuff anyways they've tweeted a bit more you want to see new 3d effects voodoo cards that makes me feel it's a troll miss these we're bringing them back too that makes it feel like it's a troll the future is now august 5th i i just i i feel like this is a troll august 5th is the release date of amd's apus by the way that's the most important date in my book we'll see what happens i'll talk to you on thursday about this if there's any development with 3d effects but they might potentially be back and what's going to be in the back of my case from now on are gigabyte power supplies the Aorus one specifically this 1200 watt because it's got a pretty lcd display it can show you so much it's not just like those lame rog thor psus which just showed you your power consumption no you can put gifts and genre and texts and images and videos and everything you want on it because it's a freaking monitor on your power supply. Why are we here in 2021? I don't know. Oris can't give us GPUs. They might as well innovate in this sector, I suppose. That's, that's what's going on. I want it. I want it, Gigabyte. Hook your boy up. I'll put it right behind my head. Thank you. Appreciate it, Gigabyte. And Elon Musk does not appreciate the rumors that are going around that he was once purportedly going to get bought out by Apple. Actually, that part is true, but there's reports going around about a phone call between Tim Cook and Elon Musk when the acquirement was going to happen, where Elon Musk said he had one caveat, one stipulation if he was gonna get purchased by Apple, and that is he wanted to be CEO. And Apple, Tim Cook was like, oh, I guess you could still stay on a CEO of of Tesla, I guess. And then Elon was like, no, I want to be CEO of the whole thing. To which Tim Cook responded, for you, man. And then it, that was the end of that conversation. Elon Musk came out and said, he never even talked to me. What are you talking about? This is all make it up fake news. Stop it. What's not made up fake news was that Tesla was throttling batteries on some of their Model S's. And now they are agreeing to pay a $1.5 million settlement for $625 per vehicle to everybody who was involved in this. Around 1,700 vehicles alleged that Tesla was throttling them for no good reason. Tesla came out and said, it was because we were trying to preserve your battery life and your performance. You could see somebody was actually tracking their 100% range and it fell off a cliff at one point at 131,000 miles. And that was very clearly Tesla was doing something in the software and now they're paying up for it just like Apple did. So Apple, Tesla, not really much of a different company after all. And AMD's next card is not that much different than the cards that are currently out because they're not actually out. But August 11th being confirmed as the release date for the Radeon RX 6600 XT at the 
retail price of $379. In your dreams, maybe. Gonna see this bad boy scalp for six, 700 at least. AMD showing off the 6600 XT with smart ass memory, beating the RTX 3060 with resizable bar, and also beating the previous generation 5600 XT and 5700 in their performance benchmarks of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Borderlands 3, Doom Eternal, and Forza Horizon 4. They tested a whole bunch of games, obviously wait for official benchmarks from reviewers when they get their hands on the cards. Don't necessarily take this as hype, but it's not like you can pre-order these things anyways, and it's not like you're gonna actually be able to order these things anyway, so hype all you want. It's not gonna change your purchasing patterns, but what does change my purchasing patterns is what we talked about in Friday's episode of Hot News, which you should go check out right there. Enjoy your second breakfast with that episode. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Hot News over your breakfast.